in a laboratory like this one, there are no half measures. Let me talk you through the PPE process. Not just one set of overshoes, but two. Disposable overalls, one pair of gloves under it, and another over the top. This is a level three containment lab, airlocked and ultra clean. One of only a handful of labs in the country working with the new, more infectious variants of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So here we are just looking at cells that were not infected. Under the microscope, just look at how healthy cells, like those in our lungs, are destroyed by the infection. Oh and my here goodness. Here we can see that most of the cells are dying because of the infection of SARS-2. It's painstaking research, but there's a sense of urgency too. We need to understand why these viruses are more infectious and more immediately when our vaccines work against them. And that's exactly what they're doing in this high containment lab. These experiments were essential if we're going to understand what the viruses are capable of doing outside the laboratory. Can they be transmitted better? Can they have a different clinical outcome? And more importantly, given this phase, can they escape the current vaccination uh, uh, rollout? Here in Glasgow, they're currently looking at the new UK variant. Early indications are that while it might be able to escape the immune system response produced by our vaccines, it's unlikely to prevent them from working altogether. There's far more concern about new variants circulating in Brazil and South Africa, and here's why. This is the spike protein on the surface of the virus that helps it invade cells. The UK variant has a mutation here, thought to enhance that ability, but the other two strains have two additional mutations that may help them avoid the immune system. So we have this al alarming data, and it is, it's certainly alarming, but we don't have all the parts of the jigsaw puzzle to be able to translate that into what it means for reinfection, which is the other major issue, and what it means for vaccines. Professor Moore has just completed lab experiments suggesting the variant in South Africa can entirely escape the immune response in some people previously infected with COVID. But only data from trials like this one in Soweto will confirm whether vaccines will work or not. Do you think it's inevitable that we're going to end up making new vaccines to more specifically target these new variants that are emerging? I think it's as close to inevitable as, uh, yes, I think it's very likely. Having said that though, uh, the data that we don't have yet are really from the vaccine trials and those are that's the most reliable data that we have so if we see an uptick in infections with these new variant strains in people who've been vaccinated that would be the final um, answer on that question those designing new vaccines need research like this to define what alternatives should look like while they don't know everything yet they're closing in on the answers tom clark news at 10 glasgow